I think, again, I think it's so honorable and it's so brave to get up on the stage and perform for people and just be able to be unapologetically you. So can we give another round of applause for those three amazing performers? Just, just amazing, just amazing. So, can I get a drum roll, please, from the audience? Can I get a... Oh, we have the main event, the guy himself. We're gonna give a big round of applause for Dr. Alan Martin! Thanks so much for coming. We need to move the piano a little bit, so I'm here to buy some time. I find it extraordinarily humbling to be organizing this gig and yet being only the fourth best singer on the stage. <laughs> what a wonderful job by Caitlin, Tyser, and Zach. Here it again for that one. I'm also extraordinarily humbled and honored to be joined on stage by a fabulous band of local musicians. To perform for you on violin, we have Deb. Viola, we have Bill. Cello, we have Brian. We have Dennis on guitar. Doug on percussion. Dave on bass. And of course, we have our very own Sunny Oswego's Rebecca Horning on piano. So I first conceived of this set as a way of kind of coming full circle in a couple of different ways. It's funny because I actually tried to originally do this, <laughs> I tried to originally do this set uh, two years ago, right as COVID hit. And uh, I don't know if any of you remember that, I had a recital on the schedule and it got cancelled. Uh, but this is not a recital, this is a gig. And so it's not formal, we don't have all that stuffy atmosphere, we're having fun, we're making fun music. Uh, the songs in this set all kind of tell roughly the progression through a romantic relationship. So we start out with songs that are all about, you know, you meet someone for the first time, you get that butterfly feeling in your stomach and uh, all those fun, exciting emotions that start coming out. And then there's the progression of your relationship. It might get a little bit ropey. It might go really well. Perhaps it ends. Perhaps it lasts forever. And so there's that element of it. But there's also the full circle of uh, labor as part of the title because of my time here. My very first semester when I got here, I did a recital. And this is my gig to kind of wrap things up. So full circle in a number of different ways. But I couldn't be more pleased to share all of this with you. Now, I need to get my setup going. But. <laughs> Thanks. That's my voice teacher. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I, I realize I'm either your current teacher or the teacher of a number of you. So this is where I get to put my money where, it, where my mouth is. <laughs> I should have known it right away. I felt it when you walked inside the room. Something pulling me right in, right in towards you. And now I'm gonna make a stupid confession. And now I'm gonna maybe seem a bit weird. My heart always beats a little faster and harder when I'm near somebody from oh, 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 Ohio. Why could it possibly be? Oh, 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 Ohio. What is it you do? What is it you doing to me? I look, I've never been there once, but if I did, I probably would explode. If everyone there was like you, get me right on that road. Cause any other place is out of the question. I kinda have it all made up in my mind. 
Cause my heart just repeats a simple habit whenever I find somebody from oh, 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 oh Ohio. I'm thinking that you must be oh, 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 oh Ohio. Cause you seem to do it, cause you seem to do it to me. Oh, 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 oh Ohio. Why could it possibly be? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Ohio. Cause you seem to do it, cause you seem to do it to me. Every time I feel the faith, every time I feel the state of you, my heart sings on and on. So this next song is from a Broadway musical that many of you will know. Uh, in fact, many of my students have sung songs from the show. This song was actually cut from the show, which is a shame because it's such a lovely little tune, but um, it's really about the kind of love that um, someone helps another understand their potential to have, loving themselves.
When everything else falls away Thank God for that place It practically saved me Those school kids sure didn't take kind to this stranger And I was eccentric All grand plans and inventions That I would have just thrown away By listening she let me have so need someone to care one who might listen and root for our wishes someone to simply be glad that we're there what good's a hand if nobody needs holding when everything else falls away if no Thank you. This is another song that was cut from a show. Um, and this one is one that also really ties in with a full circle. Uh, when I interviewed for this job, I sang this song in my audition, so to speak. Uh, so it makes sense to have it in the last set that I do here. So this is I Could Be In Love With Someone Like You. My first crush on an Irish girl, I was ten years old and her name was Elaine. Little redhead girl, well she looks like you, but if you were ten, which you're clearly not, not that you look old, but you get my... I'll just stop now. Okay, wait, cause I had a point. Well, I think I did. Well, I swear I did. Because all my life, or since I was 10, I've had a yen for an Irish lass. Because God knows why, like the ancient curse of the Shiksa Queens. Do I talk too much? Which is not to say that I'd want Elaine, who turned out to be, when I last checked in, a Republican and a parapsychologist. If you've got a four-leaf clover, you can make my dreams come true. I will be your Hebrew slave, just do the things that Irish girls do. Talk about potato famine, I begin to cry on cue. Sing about the Emerald Island, get your Irish eyes to smiling. I could be in love with someone like you. I just left a relationship with a lovely girl named Alyssa Levine. She was really great, it was all my fault. I just got upset because she slept with my brother. Though I made a vow not to get caught up in the dating scene or the whole routine with a cousin's friend or the who knows what, like I need that shit. I got marks to make, I got steps to climb, it's the perfect time. I got books to write, I got things to do. I walk out my door and bump into you, and the jig is up and my vow is through. I don't know what I'm doing, but come in and ruin me. I'll write my own Ulysses, if you're there to show me how. Take me back to Glockamore or bathe me in the river Shannon now. If you'll be Mrs. O'Leary, baby, I will be your cow. I'll deliver shamrocks daily by your pond, you shillelagh. I'd be in love with someone like you. Be my dream. 
true salvation Unchain me from this rock And walk me through the great unknown And you could be my inspiration Unchain me from this block And keep me from being alone Cause I'm no good at being alone Take me to another level Let me play in bigger halls I will do a river dance As long as you keep answering my calls Get me out of my apartment Keep me from my empty walls Someone hire John McCormick Start the wearing on the green Let me win the Irish sweepstakes Let me take you home I could be in love with someone I could be in love with someone Like you Thank you singing a lot of songs tonight that I have really no business singing. <laughs> Way too high for me, but it's a guilty pleasure kind of show, ladies and gentlemen. So, might as well. A time like the present. See the road, but where will it take me? I'll carry my load and follow the signs. The signs show no hope, and most of them blank anyway. Where is the road? I can talk, so you'll save me. Still I try to maintain In clever conversation I just found love Now I'm seeking my salvation From the fear and the realness I've escaped my adolescence But no, no, no There's no turning back now in the face This news can't hit harder I'm losing my place Trying to swallow it down Am I awake? Should I question my honor? For every word that she says Every word that she says Should I leave this place Pretend it's not my father Find someone else Cause I'm not prepared to bother I'm 17 for Christ's sake And I just want my mom But no, no, no There's no turning back now And suddenly I'm sunk into nothing I'm useless Cause I don't give a fuck about nothing she seems trusting, she says she loves me But what does that mean? Oh, what a coward I took no blame for how it happened She says she loves me and still I feel cornered I wish I had my dad for this man to man Break through the pain 
bag up time at nine months to get my shit together and show her I'm a man I can protect her she loves me it's in this letter I'll go show her I'm a man I won't bring I'm 17, a dad to be. There's no turning. Now, granted, I don't look like the most believable 17-year-old ever. Even when I was 17, I was this tall, and I was never allowed to play teenagers. <laughs> so, of course, that's a young kind of love that kind of gets messy and complicated, but still, love is involved. This next one is another kind of young kind of love song, a little bit adventurous, a little bit spontaneous but this one is one of my particular favorites in this set. Let me catch my breath. This is really hard. If it starts to look like I'm sweating, well, it's cause I am. Good with words, but that's nothing new. Still, I have to try to explain what I want to do with you. With you, run away with me. Let me be your ride out of town. Let me be the place that you hide. We can make our lives on the go, run away with me. Texas in the summer is cool. We'll be on the road like Jack and Kerouac. Looking back, Sam, you're ready. Let's go.
run away with me. Thank you. Uh, this particular one, it's kind of funny. Uh, there are a couple of, actually there's more than a couple of, of songs in this set that either I have currently assigned to students or have previously done so. So, uh, I've always been trying to live vicariously through you all, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, this is the chance for me to sing something that, of course, I have a student who's currently working on. So Philip has in, been doing an impressive job with the lights. Everyone give it up for Philip Jones. <laughs> Philip, this performance is for you. Isn't this what you wanted? Somebody new Cause I made a promise to me That I could be everything and anything to you Oh, I know you don't understand me I don't expect you to But holding my tongue has gotten me nowhere to get through year after year I've been waiting I was the guy by your side I've watched you get hurt and I've heard your complaining just please open your eyes I'm right here and I've always been here like a puppy dog since you're gone, I've been waiting right here Just hoping so delicately That you'll finally find me waiting right here Look, I'm not trying to sound desperate I'm just a fool But I can see that you can see that it's not so crazy that I can be the fool for you. Oh, I guess I'm saying I love you. Just hoping that you love me too. But don't say a word, cause I'm terrified. Cause right now I'm feeling brand new. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, Maybe I just lost my mind But the truth is, it's taken me years just to say this All you wanted to find is right here And I've always been here like a puppy dog When you're gone, I'll be waiting right here Just hoping so that you'll finally find me waiting right here Time and again got my turn back around The second that I got this far But now that you're listening I won't back down Can't you see everything you So I guess I'll keep wishing Cause wishes they sometimes come true Until then You'll know where to find me Just look behind you, it's true I have always been waiting 
patiently waiting I have always been waiting right here for you Thank you. This next one is the most eloquent description of a snapshot in time that I think I've maybe ever, ever heard in a song. So you get to enjoy the first laugh of the day in Lucy's Laugh. Obnoxious, but even still, completely contagious, no possible cure. The heart beneath is brash but pure, and all of my fears are sodden. Her laugh goes on Her eyes spark Her lip twists And nothing else that I know exists The world stands still On my behalf And I find that I'm in love With Lucy's laugh imperfection I see makes her so much more perfect to me she has flaws far beyond her control but when she laughs I see straight to her soul to call it melodic no one would dare It's quite off key But I'm well aware More beautiful music I can't compose The notes fall short Cause heaven knows My best efforts Simply no way 
Especially need a drink of water before this one. This one is uh, one of my most fun ones to perform in this set. Uh, if any of you were following the social media stuff, there was a question out there that said, do you know what song this is? It's got over 700 words in it. Yeah. It's this one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. This is Invention. This evening has been swell A first date in New York You asked the proper questions You used the proper fork you looked into my eyes, you were calm, polite, composed. You even bypassed my pet peeve and chewed with your mouth closed. We paid the check, I walked you home, we said goodnight, and then you asked me the big question. Would I like to see you again? Well, I shouldn't make a date without my book in front of me Cause my arm a double booking which can cause catastrophe And although it's never personal but merely oversight I've ticked off many friends and with my mother had a fight About my irresponsibility and how it's downright rude to be so absent-minded and show such ingratitude As to not remember who and where and when I said I'd be But my mother is impossible and somehow doesn't see That it's simply lack of focus or there's too much on my mind So the little things like names and dates get somehow left behind And so while I cannot access in some corner of my brain But I didn't mean to bring mom up or stand here and complain For the simple point I'm trying to make despite the time it took Is that I really can't do anything without my freaking book and I guess that we would be remiss to not pay some attention to the simple fact that both of us are busy. Did I mention that I take a class in pottery and practical philosophy, which mother finds indulgent but is just my curiosity about the world around me, so that means without a doubt the Tuesday nights and Friday afternoons are simply out. And I'm sure you've got your conflicts and appointments you must keep. And then there's all the little things like laundry, food, and sleep. Not to say that it's impossible or far from insurmountable. It's just that as two grown-ups, we must always be accountable for all the simple details and demands upon our time which can sometimes feel ridiculous and make the upper line of our day-to-day -day existence like a race that can be won and all but just eliminate the time for any fun and I probably should mention, although maybe it's too soon, that I tend to be a little shy and hide in my cocoon. I really am the quiet type and what you call old fashioned, but the physical affection for the one I date is rationed out in small amounts, and over time it takes a while to bloom. And moving on to second base takes time, so don't assume that the speed of my libido has a thing to do with you. It's really just some Catholic crap that I'm still working through. And then there is the question which is open for debate Of whether I'm in any frame of mind to even date I mean, is it too soon after the last misadventure To put myself through that kind of a sordid mess again? Sure, they say the time is healing and I truly feel, of course 
When one falls off, the best advice is jump back on the horse. But the wounds are deep and slow to heal, and even though I've tried, I sometimes feel I'm meant to be the bridesmaid, not the bride. Oh my god, I must be swimming in some red wine sort of haze. I'm resorting now to metaphors and tired old cliches. You really must forgive me for it's far from illustrative of the normal sort of guy I am. He's smart and so creative, but this red looks to cease. For I know you must be weary of the seemingly ridiculous avoidance of your query. So I guess the simple truth which defies all comprehension is there was a quicker path to take than this prolonged invention. When you asked me for another date and caused me to digress, I should have gotten to the point and simply answered no. So when I, when I start assigning students, songs are really hard to learn because they've got lots of words and juries, just so you know. This is my solidarity piece with you. All right, uh, this next one, a uh, little bit more up-tempo, a little bit more fun. If you feel like you want to get into it more, stand and enjoy it, feel free. I know there's some beach balls out there. I don't know where they ended up. Let's see them. I had a dream that women were a cinch Then I pinched myself and woke up Damsel or a succubus at this point, which is which? I say one thing and she blows up. But who am I to just bow down and take her shit? Well, this is it. I've had enough. I'll grab my stuff and I'll go. I know who I am. Damn it, I'm a man. So I'll just let her go because it's way past bragging. She can torture someone else with her nanny. I could be a free man and live the life of lazy She could have a thousand kids and still be just as crazy This is moving too fast and I don't even know what it is She's framing the photos and I'm still browsing through the negatives She calls me childish and says that I'm a slob Because of that one time she found my undies Hanging on the doorknob But after all, this is my castle I'm the king, so there's no hassle If I choose to leave my underpants Hanging all around She'll just leave me out to dry With my PlayStation Why have women anyway? I'll just stick with mastering The art of singlehood While I'm stuck inside this maze She can have it all and more And still be just as crazy And I don't need this pressure I don't need her pretty hair Since the day I met her It's been leading to this hair I don't need to change I don't want to change I just need to change I just need her heart I just need her smile What a schmuck. <laughs> it's just my luck. And I fell in love with crazy. So, I'm always the kind of person that when you 
ask me to do a task, I'm like, yes! Ask me to jump, and I'll say, how high? I say, I'm going to do a gig. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do 20 songs. <sighs> we are... <laughs> I'm going to pay for that in the morning. <laughs> uh, we're about halfway through our set. So, yeah. It's a lot, but I like a challenge. And I'm so glad that you're all here for this. Oh 
Thank you. This next song has a somewhat similar sentiment, uh, just in a very different way. So instead of being the person that is not the most obvious choice, but the most reliable one, perhaps it is okay to settle for second best. When we're together, I feel so grand. My heart goes tippity tap 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 when I hold your hand. But I know there's another guy you fancy more. So even though I'm not the one you adore, why? Settle for me, darling, just settle for me. I think you'll have to agree, we make quite a pair. I know I'm only second place in this game, but like 2% milk or Satan beef, I almost taste the same. So won't you settle for me? Come on and settle for me Say yes or no before I choke on all this swallowed pride I have no problem being picked out from the bottom If he's your broken condom, I'm plan B So lower those expectations and settle for me Am I okay with this? Totally Settle for me Baby cakes, just settle for me. Schmoopy pie, I'm begging you, please. Can't you see the line? Sugar jugs and so bereft. Demeaning terms are all that I have left of my masculinity. So settle for me. Little girl. Don't make me feel like a little girl Exposed and raw Whose boobs can't even fill a training bra Let's pretend I didn't say that Settle for me It's a practical proposal Settle for me It makes a certain sense He's a fantasy But can't we think this through? Yes, Josh is a dream, but I'm right here in flesh and blood and self-hate. Settle for me in a sad way, darling, it's fate. The band, everyone, give it up. to Rockies to launch to Beyonce, not asking to be your fiance, but if tonight or tomorrow you happen to be free, baby, just maybe settle for me. Thank you. That song's also like, also, I didn't put out any, there's nothing. I, I can see, I can think I can feel Josh at the back there. It's just because they're like, oh, there's, it's just one spot. It's fine. <laughs> oh, shucks. I guess I'll not do this again. Uh, I already mentioned that I'm singing a lot of songs tonight that I have no business singing. This is probably the biggest one. Um, but I just have to have it in here because I've always, always just wanted to do this role. And you know when you say, like, um, practice what you preach? I'm doing the complete opposite of that, because I always tell my students not to sing the songs that they want to sing, but the songs that fit them, fit their voice. This one does not fit mine, but I just can't resist. <laughs> Cannot resist. One, two, three. 
Did I just hear an alarm start ringing? Did I see sirens go flying past? Though I don't know what tomorrow's bringing, I've got a singular impression things are moving too fast. I'm gliding smooth as a figure skater. I'm riding hot as a rocket blast. I just expected ten years later I got a singular impression Things are moving too fast And you say, oh no, step on the brakes Do whatever it takes, but stop this trucking Slow, slow, the lights turn in red But I say, no, no, whatever I do I barrel on through and I don't complain No matter what I try I'm flying full speed ahead I'm never worried to walk the wire just half-assed But with the stakes getting so much higher I got a singular impression Things are moving too fast I found a woman I love And I found an agent who loves me Things might get bumpy but some people analyze every detail Some people start when they can't see the trail Some people freeze out of fear that they'll fail But I keep rolling on Some people can't find success with their art Some people never feel love in their heart Some people can't tell the two things apart But I keep rolling Now I'm the subject of a bidding war I met my personal Aphrodite I'm doing things I never dreamed of before We start to take the next steps together Found an apartment on 73rd The Atlantic Monthly's been in my first chapter More before 24, it's hard not to be sure. I'm spinning out of control, out of control. I'm feeling panicked and rushed and hurried. I'm feeling outmaneuvered and outlast. But I stop to panic, I just can't get worried about the singular impression. I got a singular impression, things are moving too fast. Oh man, I just had to do it. It was too tempting. We're going to stick with the theme of the same show. So of course, we're in this stage of the relationship. Things might get moving too fast. You might not be feeling totally settled. Perhaps you're moving faster than your partner is and things get a little bit dicey. Uh, one of the big reasons why I really want to sing this song is because it's actually something that's happened to me at least twice in my life. Two people in a relationship that were at different stages, different paths, and it gets really difficult. So. There are people, and they are publishing my book and there's a party that they are throwing while you've made it very clear that you're not going 
I will be going. And that's done. What's it really about? Is it really about a party, Kathy? Can we please, for a minute, stop blaming and say what you feel? Is it just that you're disappointed to be going again to Ohio? Did you think this would all be much easier? And it's turned out to be. Well, then talk to me, Kathy. Talk to me. If I didn't believe in you, we'd never have gotten this far. If I didn't believe in you, and all of the 10,000 women you are. If I didn't think you could do anything you always wanted to, if I wasn't certain that you'd come through somehow. The fact of the matter is, Kathy, I wouldn't be standing here now. this fight. If I didn't believe in you, I'd walk out the door and say, Kathy, you're right. But I never could let that go. Knowing the things about you, I know things when I met you four years ago. I never took much convincing to make me believe in you. Don't we get to be happy, Kathy? At some point down the line, don't we get to relax without some new tourists to push me out further from you? If I'm cheering on your diet, Kathy, why can't you support mine? Why do I have to feel I've committed some felony doing what I always swore I would do? I don't want you to hurt. I don't want you to sink. But you know what I think? I think you'll be fine. Just hang on and you'll see. Wait till you do to be happy with you. Will you listen to me? No one can give you courage. No one can thicken your skin. I will not fail so you can be comfortable, Kathy. I will not lose because you can't win.
Thank you. Next, we've got a couple of tunes that are just for voice and piano. Get, get, <laughs> a more intimate ensemble. I actually have to say that um, Zach, who did such a wonderful job earlier, I shamelessly stole this from him because he sang this in his recital, and I was like, ooh. And again, I just want to vicariously through people, and so I'm again singing a song, no business singing, because Zach's actually a tenor, and I'm just a wannabe. <laughs> this is C major.
trail of things left unresolved. Yes. Unfortunately, our love can be res can be reciprocated at first, but not always. This is I loved you too much. So that's it. It's over. You're gonna just up and go. Don't give me that look like I should feel sorry for you. Cause you can just carry on. But you don't know. You don't know how hard this hit me. It's like I get what you're saying. But that don't make it easier Cause words don't cushion falls And I'm already shattered So off you go Off you go Giving up on me, show me up because you think you know better. True enough, I may have lost my touch, but you say that you're leaving because I loved you too part was knowing that you loved me first before I even saw you or made sense of us still off you go off you go Giving up on me, show me up because you think you know better. True enough, I may have lost my touch, but you say that you're leaving. You know, I hate surprises, forcing me.
broken. You've had enough, you've given up on me. Show me up, cause you think you know better. True enough, I may have lost my touch. You've had enough, you've given up on me. Show me up, cause you think you know better. True enough, I may have lost my touch. But you say that. Thank you. This next song is actually not from a stage production of any kind. It's from a podcast musical. Podcast musicals are the future, I think. And actually, it's quite funny. This, uh, uh, a shout out to someone that you may know, Sean Ryan. Uh, working with him on a musical, he actually introduced me to this podcast musical. And it's been great because I've enjoyed it and I've also assigned it to students of mine. And students of mine have even brought this to me and said, I want to work on it. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. This is the future. This is Judith Ford. I would have dinner with Judith, okay? If I could have anyone over, it would be Judith, as much as it pains me to say. I wish it were somebody else, but given the choice of anyone in the world, the only person I'd want over for dinner is you. Yes, I'd have dinner with Judith, so I could ask questions, or maybe one question, who are you? Why are you living a lie? It would probably end in a fight But once I knew the truth, the real truth Maybe I could stay strong and politely send Judith out into the night That'd be nice Yes, I would break bread with a woman Who lied to my face Cause in my head I've been wondering how she kept up the pace To live in a lie for so long To strip her husband along How in the hell did she think that was okay? I choose dinner with Judith Obama and over Rihanna and even my celeb wife, Charlie's throne. I would die to die with all three. But if I'm being real, and I want to be real in a world full of people, the only person I'd want over for dinner is you. Yes, in a world full of people who all hurt me the way that you hurt me, the only person I'd want over for dinner is you. That's the truth, that's the truth, that's the truth. Oh, let's have another one from the last five years, why not? I wish.
Hey kid, good morning. You look like an angel. I don't remember when we fell asleep. We should get up, kid. Kathy is waiting. Oh, all right, the pack 
Thank you. Hey, y'all. Uh, give it up for Kamal, everyone, our fabulous MC. And stage hand. Yeah, <laughs> period. <laughs> All right, and now or something completely different. This is a song that, if you've ever broken up with someone and wished them ill will, this might be the kind of song for you. Before I go, there's just one thing I want you to know. I want to punch you in the face, stab you with a sword. I hope you lose all your hair, get eaten by a bear, strangle yourself with a telephone cord, lean out the window a little too far, don't look both ways and get hit by a car, choke. On a lifesaver, get your shoelace cut in an escalator. In short, I hope you die. Maybe it's wrong to wish death on someone you've had so much love for. But since we shared so much, it makes me want to kill you more. I want to stick pins in your eyes. I pray you get a rectal rash I hope your visa's declined You start to go blind You go broke and have to do porn for cash Become epileptic and violently shake Find out that you were conceived by mistake Fall out of a roller coaster Take a long bath with a plug in toaster In short I really hope you die Okay, so maybe I've gone too far Maybe I'm saying this out of spite Maybe I say these things to cope with sleeping alone each night Cause obviously I'm still thinking of you Hoping that we can just start over new What if we both give it one more try? Sucks that we can't cause you're a bitch who deserves to die Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Die, 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 die. Dysentery. Die, 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 die. Anal prolapse. Die, 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 die. Coronavirus. Die, 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 die. Fall when you're getting out of the shower and your tweezers are on the floor because you're always plucking your eyebrows because you always cared more about plucking your fucking eyebrows than you ever cared about me. So anyway, your tweezers pierce you right between the eyes which aren't hazel. They're brown. And right next to that little mole thing of yours that you should have gotten removed because I lied. It was changing colors. Anyway, your tweezers pierce you right in the middle of your forehead and you become instantly paralyzed and slowly start to bleed to death. Get beaten and slugged, battered and mugged, become unemployed and addicted to drugs. I hate you, I'm leaving, goodbye. In short, I hope you fucking die. Die. Uh, I love you all. Thank you. Two songs left for you. This uh, second to last song uh, is told from more of a narrative perspective, but it uses the story of someone else's love, someone else's relationship to inform their own. was fucked up and Jesse she was peerless so of course they fell in love Jesse let Jules know what was wrong with him and Jules stopped using and binging and pissing his whole life away Jules told Jesse he'd die for her which looking back was the right thing to say I cut you a piece of me I cut you a piece of me And where you go I will go too Yes I am now a part of you Jules and his Jesse got married in his temple Cause they calculated that Jules was more Jewish than Jesse was Catholic Jules' mother was pleased Married six months, went on Route 87 Jules turned quickly and a beat Mitsubishi She killed Jesse in a crash a Marriage begun and ended with broken glass His life was scattered And soon was her ass I cut you a piece of me I cut you a piece of me And where you go I will go too I lost my life when I lost you Yeah, you love someone so much That to lose them is to never recover You've given a part of your being to them And when they go, you can never have it back You can never have it back I haven't thought of Jules 
or Jesse or their story in the better part of a year. But warming your hand in mine fills me with terror that I will lose you today or tomorrow in two years or seventy. When even the earth has numbered days, I can give just one thing that stays. I cut you a piece of me. I cut you a piece of me. For where you go, I will. I am now a part of you. From now on, I'm half a soul. Without you, I can't be whole. So cut me a piece of that point of the night it's the last song oh, no. I just want to say a huge thank you to every one of you all who've come out to be with me tonight and let me share my music with you much the same way that most of you here have shared in some way your music with me over the last four years it's been a pleasure and a privilege I swear and also a pleasure and a privilege of sharing the stage with such fine musicians. Give it up for the band, shall we? And such wonderful singers to help support this performance, Caitlin, Tyger, and Zach. Another round of applause for them. And to our technical gurus, we have Josh in the back, who's working our sound. We have Philip working lights. We have Nick working cameras. Kamal, our fabulous MC. And everybody who's made this happen along the way behind the scenes, thank you all so much. And so this last song, to leave you on a more positive note than the last one, uh, is the type of love that lasts forever until the end. So I invite you all to grow old with me. Stay as the days go past Grow old with me Some things are meant to last If you'll agree Heaven might wait We could delay Our expiration date Grow old with me Teach me the words to sing When my last spring has finally sprung Stay for an hour, stay for a day Take till we shrink and get wrinkled and gray Grow old with me and we'll stay forever young For the band, everyone. Grow old with me. 
darling, let's fossilize With your blue eyes and my silver tongue Don't leave me flat, don't leave me cold Don't leave me rusted and crusted with mold Go with me till my final fling has flown Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. Mwah. Good night. Go study for your finals.